Well, 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 it's Sunday the 17th of September, and this is episode 2330 of 301 Permanently Moved It Online, a personal podcast, 301 seconds in length, written, recorded, and edited by me at the JMO. In the boundless ocean of the social sea, where algorithms govern the ebb and flow of tides and winds whip fleeting trends, the artist must make sanctuary. They must find their little isle, a domain that's solid against turbulent seas. This sanctuary is more than just a coded plot or IP address amongst countless others. It is sacred ground. To merely claim this refuge as one's own is not sufficient. The artist must create a stronghold of authenticity, a place immune to the constant fluctuations of digital popularity and influence. Before the artist can lay their first stone or plant the first seed in their garden or write the first line of their diary, they must engage in a ritual as old as creativity itself. They must first tend soil. This soil is not just physical terrain, it is the preparatory work that creates the landscape of imagination, makes it fertile, where future work will take root. It is the tableau upon which dreams are sketched, the medium that accepts seeds willingly and provides nourishment. The initial act of tending is a foundational one. To tend is to attend. In the digital realm, where screens can become stages, canvases, and even windows to new worlds, the artist requires a solid, secure platform from which to work. The soil of the artist's sanctuary is more than just a backdrop, it is the structural underpinning for all that comes next. To cultivate this domain, to bring in nutrient, water, and elements of inspiration is an act of sovereignty. Treat this soil as a partner. The artist also stakes their claim not just upon the surface of their island, but to the data that flows from it. Assert ownership not only of the ground itself, but the data that populates it. Every brushstroke, every written word, and every fragment of artistic endeavour are the artists by right. Here, in this sanctuary, love is not only the law, it is the cornerstone of the creative constitution. By asserting this dominion, the artist makes an explicit contract with themselves, setting the terms under which their creativity will flourish, free from outside influence. There will come a time when the artist must venture away from shore, sailing through archipelagos of third-party platforms where the allure of exposure beckons like a siren's call. When this journey becomes inevitable, let the artist only seek harbours that share their ethos and resonate with their creative ideals. Their choice of platform, whether the sleek technocratic islands of Squarespace or the sprawling open aisles of WordPress, is a choice steeped in ethical considerations. Seek platforms that are kindred spirits. If the soil serves as a canvas, then the software and protocols employed by the artist are the tools of the craft. When the options are laid before you, opt for tools, where possible, forged by the hands of open source communities and delivered by open protocols. In making these choices, the artist reinforces a cycle of creative empowerment, making their island not just sanctuary, but a beacon for like-minded souls. Each creation, whether shared or kept in private chambers, polished or still rough-hewn, is a treasure. They demand safekeeping. Remember, even the most idyllic of islands can be struck by storms or overtaken by unexpected tides. Let the cautionary tale of my space, the isle that vanished without a trace, serve as a constant reminder. Back up your treasures, both digitally and in tangible forms. Keep duplicates. The axiom, one is none, two is one, holds true. Archive not just final products, but also drafts. The sketches, the incomplete thoughts. They are fragments of your journey stepping stones along the path. Your records are both your history and your map. The annals of your artistry will serve future versions of yourself, guiding you when you explore new places and face uncharted challenges. Let us not forget, even amid all of these preparations and precautions, storms may arise, tides may turn, and you might return from bad weather to an isle lost to the vagaries of time. Yet let this possibility not deter, but fortify. The ability to rebuild, to begin anew, is a testament to the resilient spirit of the artist. The soil is always alive. It is an invitation to not only reconstruct, but to reimagine, to evolve and transform. Make each loss a prologue to rebirth. Your sanctuary, your domain, is a statement, a perspective, a declaration. It's where your creativity lives, breathes, and most importantly, 
will continue to grow.